Hi boys and girls. We are having another Sunday school lesson and I am glad that you are here. We are talking about Holy Week. Um, particularly today is Palm Sunday. This Sunday is Palm Sunday, which we talked about last week. And um, there are a lot of events of Holy Week that um, really important things happen. So today we're going to specifically talk about what we now call Maundy Thursday. And that's the Last Supper. Um, also in Holy Week is Good Friday, which is the day that Jesus was killed. And of course, Easter Sunday, which is when Jesus rose from the dead. So today we're going to um, talk about the Last Supper. So if you don't have your Bibles yet, stop the video and go get your Bible. Once you have your Bible, you're going to turn to the book of Mark. And we are in chapter 14. Big number 14 and um, little number... It starts at um, 12 to talk about the Last Supper. Now, um, we're going to um, start a little later than that in, the, in that chapter, but at the beginning of that part of the Last Supper um, story in the Bible, um, remember I told you last week about Palm Sunday, that the people were coming into Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. Now you remember the Passover, which happened a long time ago in history. The Passover was when um, God had Moses lead the people of Israel out of slavery in Egypt and, and eventually into the Promised Land. And so every year, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, the people celebrated Passover. And if they were able to, they would travel to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover there at the temple in the city where the temple was. So they're all prepared. They're going upstairs to the room and they're going to have the Passover meal together. And part of it is just eating and part of it is specific things. And um, they found, th the disciples found things just as Jesus had told them as they went into the city to celebrate the Passover. So now we're at verse 17. That's where we're gonna start, little number 17. When evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve. While they were reclining at the table eating, just stop right there, reclining at the table, they were, um, reclining means to lay down, so they were eating at the table, but not like we eat at a table, they didn't use chairs. They had low tables and they would sit on cushions. They just had different furniture than we have today. So. Picture in your heads, use a little imagination, and picture Jesus and his 12 disciples sitting around a big table, and they were all sitting comfortably on cushions on the floor. While they were reclining at the table eating, Jesus said to his disciples, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They were saddened, and one by one, the disciples all said to him, surely you don't mean me. It is one of the 12. He replied, but woe to the man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many, he said to them. Truly, I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Now, some of those words sound familiar, don't they? How many of you have been in big church when we do communion? This is where we get the sacrament of communion. We celebrate communion to remember the Last Supper. That Jesus had with his disciples. Um, he took bread and he said, take it. This is my body. And then he took a cup and he gave thanks. And he said, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. So this is the last supper. It is the last time that Jesus eats anything with his disciples until he drinks it new in the kingdom of God. So we'll find out a little bit more about that next week. Now, here's what I would like you to do. 
I would like you sometime this week to have supper with Jesus. Get some crackers or some bread. Get some juice or some milk or some water. And sit down and think about eating that last supper with Jesus. Imagine being with him in that upstairs room with all the other disciples. Imagine what that would have been like. Imagine what Jesus would have been thinking. Ask him what he would have been thinking. Ask him. That's what we do when we pray, isn't it? We ask him things. And of course he answers us. He tells us things when we ask. And I wonder one other thing. What would you say to Jesus if you had been there? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to have a last supper with Jesus. And I want you to talk to him about it. All right. Sometime this week. So, um, that is our lesson for today, but we're going to do another lesson later in the week because we want to talk about what happened on Good Friday as well. So later in the week, we'll have another lesson. I'll have another lesson for you. And then of course, on Easter Sunday, we'll have a Sunday school lesson again. So here is the blessing. May you know that Jesus loves you far more than you could ask or imagine. Let me say it one more time. May you know that Jesus loves you far more than you could ask or imagine. So remember to say that to someone else sometime this week. All right, kiddos. Love you. Bye.